Hey, today was actually a pretty short day as far as meetings go. This morning in business and labor, labor, we heard three bills. And because we're kind of back to the beginning of everything now, we're hearing all of the bills from the Senate that went through first. And so they're mostly non-controversial, a lot of department and cleanup bills. So it's kind of like deja vu from what the session was like when we were hearing all of the House cleanup bills. The meeting was short. We did executive action. Um, and I had a little bit of free time. Um, I spent a little bit of time learning about the budget, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, the House floor today was um, pretty short also. In fact, tomorrow, I think all we have is third reading, nothing on second reading for tomorrow. Um, so we, we kind of have short floor sessions now until we start getting into some more controversial bills. It's all about the money right now. Um, but on the House floor today, we saw a bill pass, uh, House Bill 393, which changes Montana's tax code. And um the sponsor said that there's an issue that you can sometimes save money if you're marrying if you're married filing jointly and um, you might not get as much money if you were married uh, filing separately and in my opinion that's a choice that you can take right now and so he spent this bill that passed today cost 35 million dollars over two years to take care of a non-problem because people can choose whether or not they want to do this right now um, but these are the, the people who voted for this are the same people who would not spend $5 million giving you a $400 property uh, tax rebate, um, but will give millions of dollars in property tax relief to big business. Um, so I just... I don't think that the priorities are with you and I, and um, I think that we're spent wasting some time on some non-issues here. Um, House Bill 405 that I had talked about before um, that says that businesses who allow you to bring in a bottle of your own wine or your own beer are a bottle club. This has always been illegal, but um, the bill today would have put teeth into it and made it enforceable and had fines associated with it. I couldn't believe it. It failed by big, big numbers, and the sponsor of the bill told me that he is going to try to bring it back tomorrow. So it'll be interesting to hear what he does in his own party to see if he can make this work. And then House Bill 429, uh, was a bill that would have increased the tax credit that's allowed for energy efficiency updates for homeowners from $500 to $1,000. And so um, these are homeowners who are putting in new windows or otherwise making improvements to their property. Um, I mean, it, this this is talking about you and I here, and it got voted down. Um, it was a pretty close vote, but I thought it was kind of ironic after we just passed this $35 million useless bill, um, we're going to not pass a bill that would have really helped out you and me and the people we work with and our friends and our neighbors. Um, it makes me wonder, like, where do these people live? As far as the budget goes, um, it is really weird to sit in a meeting and talk about billions of dollars. But we in Montana have a budget that is between eight and nine billion dollars. And the budget that the legislature has come up with is about 65 million dollars off of the governor's budget not including school funding. That's another $120 million. I could be wrong about that, but it's a significant amount of money. The budget that I'm talking about that is between eight and $9 billion is totally separate from the bills that have been heard or are being heard that also spend the ending fund balance. So besides this eight plus billion dollar budget we also have bills that spend 700 million dollars when campaign season was here you heard everyone talking about how montana was one of the few states that had an ending fund balance some people called it a surplus but it's called an ending fund balance montana has about 500 million dollars and um, we said you know we've had a we've had democrat leadership in the in the governor for the last eight years and we are fiscally conservative look at we have this 500 million dollars we've also said we should 
shouldn't have $500 million because Montanans that pay taxes want to get the services that they've been paying for. They pay taxes, so they want the the services that those taxes are supposed to pay for. It's the whole point of having a government. So the argument right now is that the Democrats say, yeah, we probably don't need 500 million um, surplus or ending fund balance. Probably 300 million would seem reasonable. So we either need to give back or replace the services that have been cut to the tune of a couple hundred million dollars. The Republicans have said that they want to get rid of that rainy day fund and not have an ending fund balance. They want to have an ending fund balance of about a hundred million dollars. Um, and I think that's just, that's, in, that's an interesting perspective. Um, and the $700 million worth of bills that are in addition to the budget that we don't have the money for, um, aren't coming from the Democrats and they are not replacing services that have been missing. We are not talking about funding programs that you have seen cut and that you want. So, um, there's some really screwy stuff going on with the, with the budget, but the overall feeling is that we are going to be able to come to an agreement and this is our starting point. It's going to be really interesting to see who gives and who takes and what gets given. Um, I'll let you know more as I learn about it. I told you that I would and so there's my daily budget update. Back at it tomorrow. Thanks so much for the messages. I'm still hearing from lots of people who are watching these videos. I said I would keep doing them as long as I feel like there's someone who is getting something out of them. Um, so thanks for the encouragement. And I hope you guys are calling 444-4800 and emailing the committees and paying attention to the bills. Pay attention, get involved, and we can make a difference. Have a good night.